a business owner from out of Detroit, Michigan, by the name of Bianca Chambers. Her boyfriend had his being stolen, and she ended up catching the car thief inside of the barbershop having his hair retwisted, and you will never guess what happened. Check this out. And shout out to I am Tanisha Thomas on Instagram. She tracked her stolen Mercedes Benz all over Detroit. On day three, she decided to take matters into her own hands. That she did. She confronted the thief. At that point, I was just like, dog, I'm not letting this man walk again. Bianca face to face with a guy she says stole her brand new Benz. Excuse me. You got that Benz out there? Yes, you do. This is my it went down Wednesday at a barber shop at Greenfield and Grand River. He is seven days west. Getting his dress twisted. Look at my car. Customer stepped in, making a citizen's arrest. Then Bianca slashed her own tires. I slashed all the tires, and I thought that he was going to take off, and I didn't know how long it was going to take for the police to pull up. And I refused to let him pull off again. Holding him there until Detroit police came. You will never steal from me again. Detroit police say officers responded four times to Bianca's 911 calls as she tracked the car using a web of social media tips. But when officers got there, the car was gone. Oh, my God. Y'all, I see my car. The thief so bold, he even made a pit stop at the strip mall where Bianca owns a boutique. They was driving, you know, they was having a good time. You know, they was smoking. But yes, my car was very clean. He even got the car detailed. Sources tell Fox 2 the thief, now in police custody, has a history of stealing cars since he was a teen. You're just the dumbest criminal, that's all. Like, you're joyriding in my car. Like, one nobody going to see you. Reporting on Detroit's West Side, Jessica Dupnack, Fox 2 News. Talisha, she a booster. Hey, Bianca Chambers says for two. All right. I just want to send a big shout out to Bianca. I'm glad everything turned out safe for her, but not for the thief. This is a real story about taking it in your own hands. She turned him over to the police, but I really doubt that he'll be stealing any more cars. Thank you for your bravery. Very good story. Drop your comments below. Tell me what you think about this situation. I am signing out. Katie Talk 101. Until next time, YouTube. Peace.